More people are being tested in Australia for the deadly Wuhan coronavirus that has swept through China. While the number of cases is low, health authorities and many people throughout the country are taking precautions. Bruce Harrison reports from Sydney. Locals and tourists are making a run on pharmacies for face masks. Stock is limited and most have sold out. The masks were already high in demand as toxic haze from this summer's fatal bushfire swept over the city. Many mask wearers here say they're just being cautious. I think people are slowly catch, catching on, so I think that's why they're thinking, oh, maybe I should wear a mask. Health authorities haven't yet recommended wearing one. In the city, only some like, Asian people wearing masks, so I think they're the only like, people who are aware of the virus. Doctors are worried too, as they're often the first stop for patients who may have the virus. After multiple calls, the government has now agreed to dip into its stockpile of protective masks for general practitioners. President of the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners, Harry Nespolone, says 10 or so N95 respirator masks is enough for each practice. The coronavirus, uh, as we know, there are no immunizations. Um, it is a deadly, um, potentially a deadly virus. Um, today, we're, I think the total is now over 100 people in China who have died. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we need the extra protection. But protecting students is being disputed. Officials in Victoria say it's unnecessary to keep kids home if they've recently visited China. The government of New South Wales has told parents to hold those students back if they haven't been home for at least two weeks. It's at least a two-week uh, two incubation period for the virus. Uh, they're better to be cautious and uh, obviously leave the kids at home. You know, err on the side of caution, delay the start of school for a couple of weeks till they just get a better understanding of, of how quickly this is going to spread. Until that's clear, some will scramble for face masks as pharmacists rush to get new shipments in as soon as possible. Bruce Harrison, CNA, Sydney.